Hello everyone and welcome back to another piston invention. So what you can see here is you're right, an elevator. But there is one major difference to all the elevators we have seen so far, I think. So this elevator here uh, is working in multiplayer and it's still at 10 meters per second. So I'm here, you can see disconnect, I'm in multiplayer and yeah the reason why it works is simply because uh, you're sitting in the minecart and the minecart is calculated from the server therefore um, yeah it, uh, no matter how laggy your game is um, you will always be transported up because you just sit in the minecart and yeah that's pretty cool and it's also extremely easy to build because um, the, the new redstone redstone can now be placed on top of glowstone. It's only uh, possible in a new snapshot, so if you want to rebuild it, yeah, you will need the new snapshot, that's important. And yeah, it's, uh, st it's still a transparent, so you can make extremely compact wirings. For example, these two redstones do actually connect, they just don't seem to look to do so. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. So um, yeah, as it's so simple to build, I will just make a short tutorial for it. Okay, so uh, for some reason it was lagging a bit, so I switched to default textures. Uh, so uh, to begin with, we need s just some blocks and uh, a pressure plate, and of course both sticky and normal pistons. So yeah, I've always got to throw something out of my inventory first. Um, so let's say you want to make the pressure plate on the right and the piston on the left, then just do it like this. So, and next step is to uh, put a torch here, then put another one here. So this is just the connection to the uh, upper part. So you will actually be, uh, that's, I was um, making this wrong, uh, the, to easy access the minecart you should make your pathway one block below so that you can, yeah, that the minecart is at your, um, where your head is. Or you can make half slabs too, that's also uh, working pretty well. Okay, so... Um, sorry, um, next step is that you place sticky pistons uh, on top of the row here. So the torch is powering this row here and the sticky pistons are facing forward and then you can place these pistons here and they also, yeah, the day fails upward. This, the first piston here gets a signal from the uh, redstone here, but that doesn't matter later on because it will be uh, locked. So, um, yeah, to, uh, you will also need furnaces or any other um, material that can't be pushed by pistons just because, um, yeah, it makes sure that uh, the elevator doesn't destroy itself. I'm not sure if maybe it's even working without them. I've never tested it. But I, I will use furnaces in uh, this video here. So, um, yeah, I'm just building here right while I'm talking. So, uh, maybe just build the first row here. So, you can see um, the repeaters have to be set to three and you need uh, a repeater on both sides. And yeah, these blocks here don't have to be filled, in, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, I think it's it looks better. So uh, yeah, do it like you want. And now it's extremely simple. Uh, we have will have to remove this block here first. So just stack this row up. Uh, you can of course um, change the order in which you do this, these steps here. But uh, yeah, you can for example uh, start with this here, then place a torch on every second block. Do the same on the other side. And, um, yeah, I always forgot. So, um, for example, I use furnaces, as I said, so uh, we need one every second block and they are in between the torches. So not at the same level, so, but uh, one level above and below. Okay. So now it can't push the furnace, so it doesn't move at all. Okay, so um, that's the first step. And the next one is simply to build uh, rows out of any material you like at every second block here. And uh, yeah, that was my inventory. Uh, 
and then place uh, repeaters on the sides and set them all to uh, th the third delay, so three tick delay and the middle can be anything you like uh, oh, no, the, the middle has to be uh, clear of course because you need the sticky pistons inside the middle so and yeah now it's it's a bit tricky but uh, you can't click on the furnaces so you have to click on the sides to place the normal pistons here but it's not too difficult, at least in creative. In survival it may, might be better to use a different uh, technique, but I recommend you to first build this in creative and then test it out in survival. You will be able to rebuild it pretty quick, quick I'm sure, because it's not too difficult. So, yeah, next step is to build another row of uh, blocks just behind the repeaters and the pistons. So, they will get uh, powered by redstone on top of these lines here. So just make sure you don't accidentally click on the repeaters to mess up the timing. And place redstone everywhere. So these are the first steps. So now it comes in the, the part where you actually uh, need the cool effect uh, from glowstone. So as you can see just place uh, stones, it might be a bit tricky to place them. You can either place them against the redstone here or just place a block below and remove it af afterwards. It's probably faster, at least in creative. Okay, so you get the idea. And yeah, as you can see from the original model, we now need glowstone. And on the right side, or you can also do it on the other side as well, of, but they have to be alternated, as you can see. So I will use the right side as in the original. Um, place the glowstone right behind the blocks. And on the left side, place them right uh, behind the redstone. Now, you can place repeaters. Uh, like this and set them all to the second delay second delay not the third but the second and yeah now just place redstone on every free spot and be sure to don't mess up the timing as usual and um, yes it's it's all okay Okay, so uh, for the last row you um, have to keep in mind that we don't want this redstone to connect back, so uh, we'll need another row of stones here, that's for the uh, top mechanism, but I will come to that later. So let's first, um, yeah, w um, we need a housing here, um, it's actually the blocks and the sides uh, don't necessary necessarily have to be there. But uh, what you need is the two um, yeah, iron bars or glass panes in the front. So these two blocks are necessary. But I, yeah, I think it looks better if it's completely enclosed. So I will just put a iron bar everywhere where I can place it. So yeah, for some reason something is a bit different here. No, it is not. Okay, I think it's everything. Everything is okay so far. Um, yes, so sorry, my hard disk was full, and therefore I uh, stopped recording and didn't notice it, but um yeah, you can see, so uh one has to be a glass pane because <coughs> yeah, otherwise they would connect and then just make it, uh um s yeah a cage out of iron bars or glass panes or it can be anything you want but I think it looks cool like this and yeah so when you are done with this the top layer should be like uh, this so the last piston layer is here and then you just add another one and yeah instead of placing sticky pistons just uh, place glass or anything yeah I think uh, it has to be, uh, it, it has uh, not to be a transparent block, but I think it, it fits in here, so I'm using glass, and 
the I started placing the pistons at the side here. So um, you uh, do need to use both uh, kinds of fences because otherwise they would connect and they are to align the minecart properly so that it uh, falls back in this right in the center. So you can see here it when they uh, are to and together and for some reason it's it's clogged up here probably because somebody stepped onto the pressure plate uh, some slime or so yes it's the slime in there uh, he wrecked it but um, yeah to reset it you simply have to kick off the slime Yeah, the problem is in multiplayer you can't hit slimes you notice so um, I had to remove the pressure plate and oh man these slimes are so annoying okay uh, I will fix that later so um, <coughs> yeah to uh, for the exits you have to build a f floor right out here and um, yeah if you place the pressure plates keep in mind you need two blocks distance here and uh, after you've done that, you can start. I will just take a look at the original. Yes, it's, uh, everything is okay. So um, this here, place pl place repeaters here at the highest delay, and torches behind them at the inside. <coughs> okay. Next step. Build two um, rows of blocks here. And yeah, let me just take a look. Okay, it's yeah, you can see it basically. Um, one repeater here, and uh, none over here. Okay, and this one will connect to the pistons right here, and the, the delay has to be set to maximum, and the other one has to be on the first delay. So now we are nearly done, we just need to place the pistons. So let me grab some. Okay, and on the other side as well, of course. Oh, it's so annoying that the hotbar is so small in the standard version here. Uh, nope, that's, that was one too close. <coughs> Okay, so let's repeat it on the other, other side as well, and we are nearly finished. Maybe let's test this it. Yes. Okay, so the mechanism here is working fine. You can remove any unnecessary blocks, uh, unnecessary blocks, and just make us. Um, I like a small housing here, and if that's also finished, your basic, uh, uh, basically your elevator is done. So. Uh, let's just take a ride and see how it works and if it does perform well then we are all happy <laughs> okay um, yeah okay I forgot I of course to put another minecart in here so the proper test and it's yeah, the, the, as I said, the most difficult part is to align the minecart the first time you are entering it. Uh, maybe it's actually the easiest way to do this is probably just to use the aligner which is on top. So, just stepping on top of these pressure plates. And voila, it's perfectly in the middle. Okay, uh, yeah, so probably just uh, insert it from the top and it's the aligner will do the job on its own. Okay, thanks for, thank you for watching and see you next time. Okay, there's one thing I forgot to mention, so uh, to make it 100% fail proof, you should add two half slabs here, the reason is pretty simple, then you can't just uh, push the minecart uh, outside of the aligner, so let's say you are doing 
some weird running here back and forth and you can't push it over the slabs and therefore if you otherwise it could be pushed to here and then it would of course not be uh, pushed back but uh, yeah if you are carefully it won't happen anyway so you don't need it and uh, so uh, see you next time